Welcome to LA. Extremely bro. We got shot. Paparazzi. The Hollywood Hills. I feel like we don't know what we're talking about. It's because good things happen to us. Good morning guys. So it is my first full day here in LA. Um, I'm super excited. It is so beautiful. There's Clara. Um, we are currently driving to the apartment that we applied for and we're gonna see if we can find out today if we've been approved and we're just gonna go around downtown LA and get to know the area. So yeah. So this is the neighborhood where our apartment is. It's like a mini New York. Oh, let me open this window. Oh, it's my gosh. Wow, can't believe we're home. Oh my gosh. I want to move in. We got Chinese. This is so beautiful. These are night twos eat. We're supposed to be saving money and not eating out, but. We don't have a house to go grocery shopping for, so it's gonna have to do. And this is how we drink water. <laughs> Claire, what are we doing? You guys can't know. Hood <laughs> rat shit. Hood rat shit. But it's not like the hater song version. It's the LA version. It's that, which we can't tell you what that means. We, we just met Emma Chamberlain. Emma Chamberlain. Like, so randomly, like, we were like walking and then we look to our left and she's just like there i like ran into her last week at the beach and i didn't say anything i was so scared like i like didn't get a picture with her and i was so upset about it and then me and emily the past two days have been talking about how we want to meet her and get a picture and how we're like obsessed with her life and how successful she is and we just ran into her out of I literally everyone was like, i'll just... insert the photos sorry but like i'm never getting over this <laughs> i I just cannot believe that just happened. I'm today we also cool. got approved for our dream apartment. This wait. is day one. Like I just moved here yesterday, and we get approved for our dream apartment and meet Emma Chamberlain. Day one. I'm I'm satisfied. I'm we manifested that. Home. Oh my gosh. Cali Walmart be looking a little different. Claire, how do you feel right now? I'm mad. She's mad. We're mad. Our, so pretty much we just went to our apartment complex because we were supposed to be able to move in today. Placing agents are like treating us like, not taking us seriously because we're young, yeah, and acting like we don't know what we're talking about. And it's just very frustrating. We were supposed to be able to move in today, but now we can't move in until tomorrow. It's just like one thing after another. But we're at Walmart now, we're gonna do one big run and go to Ikea to get everything else we need for our apartment, so. Hey guys, so it is later in the day now and Claire and I are feeling extremely broke. Um, so after begging our parents for money and getting declined, we decided we're gonna go apply to jobs. Like big girls. So, yeah. Wish us luck. Okay guys, so it is Thursday night. It's like nine o'clock and Claire and I felt like doing some hood rat, hood rat shit and getting out of the Airbnb. As you can see, the car is completely full of boxes because we're hoping that we get to move in to our apartment tomorrow. So we decided we're gonna go to Beverly Hills and like the expensive areas of Calabasas and DoorDash and try to see some bougie houses. And bougie people. And maybe bougie just, people. Maybe the Sway Boys for my Maybe the Sway Boys. So yeah. My camera can't even focus on it because it's like too much. So we're currently in the Hollywood Hills. I feel like I'm on a different planet. Like you guys don't understand. Like this is such like an alternate reality. This camera doesn't even like do this any justice. I can't believe people live like this and there's like poverty in the world. <laughs> <laughs> so the patrol is kind of going to be like soon. <laughs> They're like, what do you want? We're like, we want to talk to Ariana. <laughs> well, can you tell Ariana Grande that her biggest fan is here? <laughs> okay guys, so we are postmating around just like trying to see different neighborhoods and stuff. And I'm currently delivering this shake to... Anna. Why is there a school here? Wait, I could be looking for the school. For what, you're going to class right now? <laughs> <laughs> it's Obama's house! I was like, I wish they just had pictures of themselves on their front door. <laughs> so I need a picture of Obama! Don't hit the Porsche. Yeah, you Don't hit that Porsche either. Yeah, yeah. Like, armed response on us. 
Like I, I love that we're allowed up here for some reason. <laughs> it's like gate, no, red heart. So pretty much we have been in the leasing office all morning. And it's been extremely stressful and they weren't working with us well. It's been- And we had to call. Such a pain in the ass. We had to call so many different numbers to set up our utility. But now we have our apartment and this is officially ours. We're moving in today. Right now. <laughs> right now, we're literally moving in right now. So it is the 6th, it is Sunday, which means it is the last day of this weekly vlog. Clara and I woke up and did Chloe Ting's workouts, and now we just got ready to go to the pool. Uh, we reserved for like two and a half hours, so we had a little bit of a slow morning. Now we're gonna go to the pool. We're gonna pick up some stuff that we bought off the marketplace for our apartment, and then our room will be done. And yeah, that's the plan for today. All right, if a bee comes at me, I'm gonna be annoyed. I'm trying to have a moment. Hey guys, so Clara and I have just been doing school all day and we went to the pool and did stuff like that and then we just went to check out of our Airbnb. We paid to have our Airbnb reserved until September 18th but we ended up checking out early on um, today, September 6th because we got our apartment early. So usually with Airbnb you don't get any money back for doing that but the lady was really nice and said that she's actually gonna give us a third of our money back which that would be really great. So we decided that we're going to pay it forward. So the other day we got a shipment of like all of these like frozen chicken patties and potatoes and we aren't gonna eat them and it's like a lot of extra food. So we decided um, to pay it forward. We're going to cook up all of that extra chicken and bring it to this homeless family that lives on our street. Um, there's a kind of a whole community that built houses along this fence and as safe as possible we are going to cook up the food and bring it all to them because California is in a heat wave. Um, today was like record high temperatures and it's currently 109 degrees. So yeah, we're going to cook up the food and bring them food and water and yeah, just do some good things because good things happen to us. Okay, so this is what we are starting off with. Um, we're just going to have a bunch of plates and bring them to the families down at the homeless camp there. Um, so this is all extra food that we have. So we have a bunch of potatoes. We don't know what we're gonna do with the cheese. We might give it to them. I don't know like how helpful that would be, but we're not gonna eat this. We don't know how to cook also. So we're gonna boil the potatoes, I suppose. We have some apples, and these are like the chicken patties that we have. So they're literally just like chicken patties. Like I don't know what to tell you about that. I don't know. We made up all these plates with chicken, potatoes, cheese, some little chocolates, and apples. And hopefully this is enough to feed all of them. And then we're also bringing this jug of water. Just hope that they have some cups or water bottles that we can pour some into. Because we don't have water bottles or plastic cups for them. Okay guys, so we just brought the food to the homeless camp and some people in downtown LA. And seriously, those were like the sweetest people. Like, it is so sad their situation. People think homeless people like, like choose to get in this lifestyle. Like, they yeah. have no, literally, they have no way out. Every single one of them said, Have a blessed day. You don't know how much this means to me. Thank you so much. And we just feel so happy. Like, that was truly all we needed. Like, mm -hmm. the, their smiles on their faces when we like gave them the food is just like the best feeling. So, this I think we're gonna like, do this weekly. Yeah, this has been the hottest weekend in LA in a very long time. Yeah. Like, so hot. And luckily we were able to give them a jug of water as well and yeah. just feels good to give back, so. I gotta tell you guys about our night. This night we made a reservation to Saddle Ranch to have dinner. And I'm gonna walk you guys through on what happened because it was actually a really crazy night. Like, I actually can't understand really what happened. The first exciting thing that happened that night is we were sitting at this table and guess who we see walking to the bathroom? Lil Xan. He was so little. We he was both so little, bro. He was like so little. Like you could probably like squeeze him and he, he would like probably four feet. We like both like see this person, right? And then we both look at each other and we go, Lil yeah. Xan. Lil Xan. Right? And then Emily like goes on his Instagram and like just double checks the tattoo that she saw and she was like, Oh my god, that's totally him. We thought that was like the coolest part of the night. And then Emily sees Taylor Holder and Thomas from the Hype House. And then I like look over to my side a few minutes later and I see Olivia Ponton. So I tell Emily and Emily goes to the bathroom because she was like on her way to the bathroom. And Emily ended up getting a picture with her. Insert picture. picture. While Emily was in the bathroom with Olivia Ponton, I look over to my side and I see Emma Chamberlain, 
Olivia Boyer, um, Bryce Hall. It was a lot of people for Sunday night. And then Emily comes back. She has a picture with Olivia. It was super cute. And so we're at this restaurant for like an hour and a half. We're eating fries and eating dessert, right? So we're there for an hour and a half. We're kind of starstruck with how many people we see just like walking around us. We finally decide to leave. And as we leave, there's like a lot going on. And then we walk like right past FaZe Banks. And I'm like wearing Emily's Malibu sweatshirt. And he literally just elbows me and he goes, Malibu, baby. Like he just like really liked the sweatshirt. And then Emily, like I look over at Emily and this is literally what her face is like. <laughs> That was, that, that, was, that was face banks and I was like huh huh and at this same time while I'm like realizing that I just elbowed and dabbed up face banks we walk like outside the restaurant like where like our car was or whatever and paparazzi's like interviewing and taking pictures of um, Taylor Holder and his friend and that looks like it's news to me. I just found that out myself. Really? As well. Yeah, that's that's what he said. That's what he said. All right, Taylor, man, I won't take up too much of your time, man. Thank you so much. God bless you. All right, bless you guys too, man. Okay. All right, man. Good luck. Tonight was a crazy night. See you guys next week. Just like smiling, but I promise it won't look like this by tonight. I seriously feel like I'm in New York. Still going strong. This is our bath and view movie set. Look at all. This is the mood right now. <laughs> we literally just moved out.